I shoot for seven and then like actually aim for 715. So I'm mostly on time. And I actually would have been on time if my Windows 11 PC hadn't died and if I had bothered to set up my Windows 10 PC to stream with because I haven't streamed on this PC I think April of 2022 maybe was the most recent time I streamed on this thing so I had a, I had a lot of technical issues to deal with like I use SSD acceleration on one of my hard drives and that is not too fond of being moved across PCs, if you can believe it. So I had a bunch of shit that's just like broken. Most, it's literally entirely game installs, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I was like testing a bunch of random games and I was like, ah, oh, this is fine, this will be fine. And I disabled the SSD acceleration because I'm probably gonna go back to Windows 11 eventually. And then as I was getting ready for stream, I was like, oh shit, I don't know where to loop Heroes installed. <laughs> So, it it opens at least. Whether it, whether or not it crashes when I start playing, eh, we'll see. I all of my culinary contributions are in the way of like smoking and grilling, and my brain was like, "You should make some lemonade." And then I was like, "Oh yeah, I should. I should smoke some lemonade." The fuck. Are we playing loop here? Yeah, we're gonna play some loop here. I do have to work later tonight, so I have to pay attention to the time. This is Minute Maid Lemonade Zero Sugar. Our wife, my, our wife, my wife picked some up uh, last time she was at the store. It's pretty good. I try not to drink a ton of caffeine, so it's helpful to have caffeine alternatives. A promo. I hope you have that like macro on your keyboard, dude. I feel like there's some efficiencies here you could be using. Um, I don't have them set up, but sorry for the the poo doo doo. Um, these here are oh well, my whole keyboard's programmable, but I couldn't find the uh, type of keyboard I wanted specifically, and I ended up with one that had this weird numpad on the side. And I've been meaning to set it up as a macro pad. I've just been too lazy. Now I have to plug it back in. Uh, what do I type? Hold on, let me see if I can... I think I'm like in the 150, 160 neighborhood. On a good day. I have to go check the group chat with my friends where we give each other shit for typing. Oh, well, that's not going to show up. Yeah, um, there's also the, they're not stenography keywords, but LTT has shown a couple of them off where they're like the slidey ones. They, they operate really similar to stenographers ones. Oh man, you'd have to have something set up specifically for WASDA. Um, I really want to get the river today. So we need to farm more ooze. I don't think it really matters who we roll with because we don't need anything specific, but I am going to take the arsenal off because I think it was fucking us up last time. Maybe we'll do, we'll try the Necromancer um, Expedition 2 with that off and we'll see where we end up. 
I wonder if you could do like you could probably do some pretty interesting things with them like you could um have it programmed like with a night like a quick turn I bet that would help a lot with the uh, stomach keyboard It's like minus 30, it's probably fine. We'll leave the road lanterns for now. I feel like these guys are dropping a, a lot of cards today for some reason. I really want the uh, light or lightning whatever tower because once I set all these forests on fire that'll really help with my what is it? It's not attack speed. Pure damage. Actually, I don't even know if pure damage would be good for this build. I don't know if my skeletons can do anything with pure damage, now that I think about it. I mean, attack speed's not bad to have either way, but...
Not herpes, but harpies, please. for the villages though we could do that so we'll put a village like right here well that's a not the thing that i wanted to Idiot. we put the village here the vampire mansion here that'll limit us to one creepy thingy Still, regen per second if the hero already has it. That's an interesting one. I don't know if that's new or not, but I feel like I don't have it. Five eight versus three point oh three, and then we get summon quality and two points. I think this one's obviously definitely worth. I don't think this one is though. Finally, I'm gonna drop the vampire mansion after we go through just so I can get a quest before it transforms and does its funky stuff. skeleton uh, I'm gonna take the allied skeleton heal for now and then we can put our storm temple down and that should have given us a bunch of pure damage right yeah four pure damage yep Ooh, we can already set up another one can we set up one in the same sphere we would still have two if we placed it here or here, but yeah, we could. They do like having the heals in separate areas. No frito banditos, please. Probably fine to do it now. Ah, uh, fuck it. Famous last words. I want to look up a good build for God. Um, 
Necromancer. I don't know why I'm doing this on my phone. I have a computer. Oh god. I'm breaking things. I feel like I did this once before, but I don't remember it, so we'll do it again. That doesn't work. Sure, the gamer list. Tell me what you got. Prioritize attack speed. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't be burning all my forests. Yeah, well, I don't have a river, so fuck you. So attack speed, max skeletons, and skeleton level. Which is, I mean, I have been prioritizing attack speed, but I've been prioritizing the other stuff, so... It's not too bad. Maybe I won't burn all of my forests then. Uh, we do have a free village, so we can get some more health here. Ooh, level 6 necklace. Yes, please. One slime. We need more battlefield and uh, blood grove type stuff. I'm not super strong, so I'm a little, a little scared of that. Like, this is going to be a challenge here. Phil was coming in clutch. I'm not mad about that. Done with the rocks for the most part. Ooh, skeleton level. one more turn and these will be done or that first one will be done I should say Actually better, but we'll take it just for the attack speed. I do need max skeletons from somewhere though. Assuming none of these have it. Nope. A boss that just got one tapped. Clutch, I guess. So it wasn't that loot. Must be the next one. Hmm. I don't know if the summon quality there is worth it. And that's just that's worse. Uh, skeleton level three than for second.
4.26 versus 4.9 and we get some regen per second. I don't think we need the regen per second. Really? Plus max one of skeletons, baby. Let's go. That went so much better than I was expecting. Oh, I missed that on the course. I think that's worth light some more beacon. Surely this loop should give us the vampires, right? The Count's City or whatever the fuck it is. They're just so far off from that skeleton level, I can't justify it. attack speed sure oh my god yes I wish that was max skeletons and something else that's just like better slightly better weird We definitely don't need five skeletons, I don't think, but like our attack speed is not quite there. We do another grove. Or we can do another vampire mansion. We do sh we should do another grove though. Um and then blood grove that. Because we can get these things that spawn the shapeless mass from the blood groves. harder quests for it, but I don't think that's a problem. 200% HP for quest goal. And all I got was a shitty ring. Mm, not 
quite double. I don't know if that's worth. Put down another mountain. Point one five, and we lose out on eight percent attack speed. We we gain. I think that's probably worth it. Almost a full skeleton level and three point six regen. We're already at 44% attack speed. That's pretty decent. I think we'll be okay because we can get blood grove all or blood things all the way over here, and that's but that's the only spot that won't have a crossbowman on it. Sure. We lose a max skeleton and now we're at 77% attack speed. River doubles the effects of whatever's beside it. So having uh, forests on one side of the river and getting a full one to four percent attack speed, or sorry, two to four percent attack speed would be absolutely nutty. one slime thing so far. Mm, I'm going to take the higher quality skeletons for now. No, I don't think it's worth the drop in attack speed. some Frito Banditos, but we do have an Oblivion, so we might as well toss it down. Oh, did you guys think you were going to lose? Sorry. productive we've gotten two whole pieces of what we need and we need like 50 
I think I'm gonna focus mostly on attack speed here, but I think we're probably ready to fight the boss. I wouldn't mind having some more magic shield, but I think we're doing okay. This area is just fucked up now. <laughs> All sorts of fucked up. Do we just pull the boss now? It's not a horrible idea. Assuming it lets me. Do I have enough stuff that I actually want? Do? I'll be honest, they don't live long enough for me to uh, bother naming them. I'm not a very good skeleton owner. That's not worth. Why are these dudes so fucking thick? Because they're quest bosses. Well, one more rat and we're, we're in the thick of it. Would you please stop? Hear me out. What? You again? Is the lich's magic? Is it the lich's magic? You don't look like an undead, but I don't have any other explanation. Omicron, the dead sorcerer I remember now. Did you kill him? I spent so long with him trying to explain the emptiness of knowledge sharing my vision. This is not the voice I used for this angel lady, but I don't remember which one I did, so this is what you get. I will miss these attempts to set him on a righteous path, and no, it has nothing to do with his magic. Then how? Forget it. I actually don't care. Thank you for the offer. I refuse. You're just scared. You want to know if I'm really telling the truth, right? If you knew the Maker really is the one who returns everything to oblivion, would you accept it and submit? Are you asking out of curiosity? Let me think. I'm asking because I want to help you. To tell the truth? Even knowing you're right wouldn't change a thing. W why? It is literally the will of the Maker. You're telling me all this nonsense just because you're unable to comprehend it all? How can you still resist knowing this is his will? I don't know. That's how we're made to be, I guess. Know that I will oppose you again and again. Maybe someday we'll be able to continue all this conversation, but not today, for I am filled with anger. Is it righteous anger? It is righteous anger. Oh my god, his shields. This is going better than I expected. We still have a, have a res and we still have five. Okay, well, I didn't even finish my sentence. Unacceptable. You can rage all you want. Your rage won't stop me. I am enraged, but not at you. I was given such power, but I am unworthy. I cannot convince even a single fool to lower his weapon. One more servant of God shall perish because of me. This is it. I'm burning your body this time. Farewell to you. Burn me, cut me to pieces, bury me, there's no difference. I am the faith itself, do you think you can kill faith? No, but I think that I've learned a lot from you. I will have faith. I will have faith in this world and I will believe in my success. Dang, what do we get, what do we get? Anything good? Eight times loop XP each time a map tile is placed. So right now we'd be getting 80 XP. That's actually pretty baller. Blood lightning with each attack. The chance is a mystery. I'm going to take the loop XP for now. And then I'm going to stay. Because we are doing just fine.
Use a bunch of attack speed to gain one extra max skeleton. Okay. We're not really getting any of the material we need. Which is kind of a bummer. Ooh. We would lose like 0 0.3, 0 0.2 skeleton level, but we'd gain 20% attack speed, sure. We could use some skeleton level though. Pretty soon, eight skeleton levels is not going to be cutting it. Okie dokie then. There must be a really low chance for this shapeless mass because I fought quite a few of the people that are supposed to drop it, like those bats, and we've only gotten two. Hey, complainer's luck. to stretch when the game kind of plays itself. Next tile is going to be fun. I just think some attack speed is important. And 4% is not what I would call some attack speed. I guess we could build out our things over here. Good where is this run really? deal with bandits one two three four i don't have to deal with bandits this is free they're about as free as it gets at least
Ooh, we're about to break 100% attack speed. What a beacon. I think we need healing to be honest. I don't think any of these are good, but sure maybe we can hold on to some thicket cards. Actually what we could do is we could toss down some groves inside the blood groves, I think. I don't actually know if that gives us a better chance of spawning. No, it looks like the wasteland spawns what we need, doesn't it? Okay. Once I get five of these, I'll probably end it. There's no real point to us just like staying here. Even if we're we're surviving. Yeah, ghosts are definitely slimy boys. So if we toss a battlefield down in here we could potentially get some more ghosties in here which should be good or not we'll just destroy them all with impunity here Fourteen. Yeah, that's probably worth. Boy, thicker than a snicker. Seven point eight regen per second. Jesus. Oh, weird. We can place this in different places. Oh. Adjacent to the road near other trees. Oh. I thought I had to be near the grove specifically. I didn't think about it being able to be near the forest. That makes sense though. I don't think it's worth losing the max skeleton yet. here okay I was like when would you equip items Did I take the ability that saves my fucking... I did. I feel like I placed more than 10 cards and not saved any of them. Ooh, beefy boys. Yeah, this might be the round to end it on. That was a bit more of a struggle than I like.
I grab this just to make sure that I survive. We are getting a pretty crazy amount of XP though, surprisingly. Oh yeah, I forgot that that was a fire column. Which is better, sure. We run away. And oh, we do have three. You need ten, so we need eight more to be able to unlock the river. We have a lot of upgrade mats though, interesting. Mud Hut War Camp. Food slot, and um, we get just like straight strength assist. What do we get for the Mud Huts, anything good? Just more item slots. Oh, we can upgrade this to level three. Make sure I don't spend anything that this needs. Okay, yeah. So I can't upgrade these, I don't think. Yeah, no. Well, I do have 18. I could spend three of them, but I still probably shouldn't. Oh, yes. Shit. Fuck. That's a lot of metal and a lot of whatever this is. Hmm. Okay. We want the suburbs, for sure, if we can get them. But that's a lot of orbs of expansion. I'm going to take off the crypt. And I don't feel like any of these are going to give us anything that we can use for... farming the uh, slimy boys which is unfortunate we'll try we'll try a chapter 3 run I don't think that that is a good idea but we'll try it anyways damage for right now. We need to build this area up as much as we can because the orbs of expansion come from, um, yeah, that'll still be okay. I was going to say, oh shit, did I ruin my spot for Vampire Mansion, but I still have one more. The orbs of expansion come from fighting four or more enemies on a tile. Ooh. We do need to work on some regen for sure. Damn, Prism's not a bad start, though. Uh, 
Oh, I was going to build a mountain range right here. I'm an idiot. I guess I can still build one right here. Oh, right clicking on the locks then. Okay. I had zero idea that was a mechanic. It was probably explained to me, but whatever. I think I will also start on a forest up here that we can turn into pure damage. I don't see any way that could actually hurt. Prison, sure. Ooh, no, not worth. Definitely not worth. Absolutely worth. Let's do another, another village and then we'll get rid of the bandits. slime this run. I don't know why I keep calling it slime. Probably because it's dropped by slimes. I think that's better than the vampirism encounter. Mm, I think the five defense is worth it at this low level. damage. Then vampirism on the ring. We'll try that. Fifteen to twenty-two damage with twelve attack speed and eight vampirism. Yes, please. That's gonna be damage to all. Damage to all in regen. Um, I don't know. If four damage to all is gonna be worth it. Over the vampirism, you know. Nah, it probably doesn't matter. Buckets of damage. I'll hold on to it for now. Now that I know that's a mechanic in the game.
We don't want to go too crazy on the attack speed though because I don't know if the warrior gets tired like the rogue does, but I'm assuming they can. And we are leveled up. Going to grab three new cards because that didn't sound fun. One and a half damage for every potion use since this trade is taken. Okay, that's not bad. Each time the hero passes through a tile heal. Yeah, we're going to take the potion one. So that kind of benefits us to get low on health for a couple loops. We use up our potions, but I don't really have any way of controlling that. So I guess it'll just be luck of the draw. Gonna take that armor piece just for some more vampirism for now, I guess. We're at 40% vampirism. That's pretty dang good. Hmm, yes, we should toss down a road lantern over here. For when we're ready. Well, whenever we get a vampire mansion. Oh, and we got a blood grab, I didn't even realize. Toss that down. Treasury, just because we can. Mm, eight counter, eight attack speed, or sixteen percent. The vampirism is probably worth it still. This next village is free because we are on three. most of our regen per second but in exchange we get 17 defense I think that's probably good enough some of these just have huge trade-offs that I don't know if it's worth it like 13% counter is good along with the 5 defense but is it worth sacrificing 16% vampirism I don't know Defense, that's literally a free upgrade. 11 pure damage and 1.8 regen per second. Jesus, yes, please. So we're up to what? 2.4 regen per second? Oh, are these both quest bosses? They sure are. That's unfortunate. Be a long fight. That was rough. We get 9 to 14 damage extra and 21% counter. But we lose most of our vampirism. I think that's probably a good trade off still. can definitely unlock that sword and sword now i don't really need the 21 to 31 damage and no extra buffs a vampire mansion would be really clutch right about now be nice if i got one of those i will take a mountain though because once we complete this mountain range we'll have big hp jesus all right Hey, there we go. There's our complainer's reward. Thing is not worth it. Hmm, 1.2. That's like all giving me health back in exchange for 8 defense. That's probably worth it. No regen. I guess that's not a lot of regen to begin with, but it's only 1% vampire vampirism up. Mm. I 
think we'll stay on the rest of this stuff. Oh my god, 8 plus 8 to plus 13 damage, but we lose our 21% counter. Holy shit. Oh, there's some regen per second. We lose our vampirism, but we gain counter. And an extra 300 HP, sure. I think that's worth. We're not doing bad, but we're not doing great. We're like very middling right now. And actually we're gonna die right here. JK, we almost did though. I guess my health regen is just not there. I will take plus three regen at the cost of my counter, but I still don't know if that's enough. We are getting a lot of health back, like, rapidly. I just don't know how much we actually need. point is the case of my damage just being too low. Basically double the damage at the cost of our counter. I'll take it. We have an oblivion so we can get a free village somewhere. I think to unlock the uh whatchamacallit. No regen on this ring, so we don't want it. Ooh, lose 13 pure damage though. I don't think that's gonna be worth it. I was looking at the trait, that's what I was going to do. I think we'll take the resurrection, because we came awfully close to dying. A little too close for comfort there. so many tiles on this map before you summon the boss. It's absolutely crazy. Mm, this isn't looking too good. I mean, yeah, okay, so. Enough regen right now, I guess. Which is crazy because we're at Crit me for three forty five. Um, do we want to spend two skulls? 
I think we do because otherwise we're going to lose that on three. Oh, we're going to lose our orb of expansion and we're going to lose it on three slimes. So yeah, I'll spend the skulls. So we need three more slimes. That's kind of unfortunate. I feel like we get them all early on though. So like maybe we should just retreat as soon as we get them. Actually, I'm going to do that. As soon as we get three slimes, I'll retreat. with the mountains right now. Uh, pretty good cards so far. I'm surprised. I feel like I haven't been getting this good of RNG for a bit. after every uh, encounter to play styles. One more mountain, please. down a grove but I want to fight the uh, spawn there first so we have a chance of getting the shapeless mass from it oh, and there's our big HP mountain let's see how much our HP actually goes up from this I'm curious we're at 480 
can go up to 520. Go up to 40. It's pretty good. Oh, I literally can't. Okay, because it became a blood path. Oh, that's right. It becomes a blood path when there's two battlefields that overlap. I forgot. Who's surprised? Not me. Mm, we lose our damage to all for crit damage chance and pure damage. Sure. Guess I'll toss another group down on that side then. but no lightning tower to set him on fire. Hmm, do we keep placing mountains? I guess we'll try and cluster some of them up as we get a fucking bandit or goblin camp. Shitheads. Oh, Road Lantern, perfect. I was hoping to be able to place it like over the Goblin Camp and the village at the same time, but it's like one pile away. send it dude let's go damage ooh 14% counter the cost of like 40 HP I feel like we have plenty of attack speed right now. 30% counter is actually pretty huge too. Ooh, another road lantern. Let's go. So we'll pop that road lantern. And then we will uh, do the vampire mansion. And then we'll take our trait. Lowers the quantity of items received by three, but increases the quality. Yes. And we have one of our three shapeless masks. That dude just resurrect? What the fuck? Oh, we're dead. No po- okay. Wow, we are barely alive. But I will be shocked if this goblin camp doesn't kill us. TBH. There's not a thing we can do. Back to tier two. We are not unga bunga enough yet. I fear. Already a shapeless mass. Let's go.
guess I'll pick my spot for uh, Vampire Mansion. We'll do Village here, Mansion here, Lantern, Lantern. We'll get it going. Let's get it on. I barely remember it, but MXC is such an integral part of my childhood. We just go for the big thumper. And we get booties or booties. I guess we can take get ones with counter. Where's the, gonna be the best spot? I think we're gonna have to do the battlefield like here and here to get some overlap. So it doesn't really matter where we place the blood growth. Uh, we could toss the vampire mansion down now. It won't bother us too much, I don't think. Cause the worst that's gonna happen is we fight some vampires while we're slapping some slimes. Big level stuff, level four already. Attack speed and crit damage chance, power shit. I guess I'll, that's only two damage to all, so it doesn't really matter, but I feel shit to put on. Mm, almost double damage, yeah. a whole lot of good that time. We can toss down a temporal beacon over our camp. I guess we should start building the rock. The, uh, yes, Dwayne. We're building Dwayne Johnson right now. Um, building our mountain range. Because that is kind of hard to pass up at the cost of just some random harpies, like whatever. Two oblivions, wow. damage to all. I guess it's the best weapon we have. I don't know why I'm even bothering to look. Two shapeless mass. One of us. One more to go. A 
8 times loop XP every time we place tile. I'll take it. What do we have now? That's the only one. We had to start a new run. Mountain range. We end up getting a village at any point, which would be, you know, miraculous. You know what I'm telling you, if you can plan, the game will give you what you want. Within the game, to be clear. Don't don't go asking Lupira for sexual favors, please. That's weird. We got that level hella quick, I'm assuming, because of the uh, XP. Actually, we should just wait to place these tiles if we can, because we'll get bigger XP for them. Ooh, three HP healed for each kill. I don't know how that works, though. It says plus three HP healed, not three HP healed. So each kill, does it stack? I'm gonna take that and we'll see where we end up. All right, so now we're on loop five. So when we place this mountain, we should get 40 XP. So we should go up to 82. And then we got an extra for the goblin camp. Do we get it for oblivion though? I wonder. We don't, but we also didn't lose any XP. That's pretty baller. It's like free XP until you start getting close to summoning the boss. That's pretty crazy. As we get three forests to chuck down right now. Doggy. Oh, gross. In, in the best way, I mean. I didn't even look at our weapons. Pure damage at the cost of seven evasion. Um, that's pretty big pure damage, so sure. Straight damage upgrades. Ooh, now, but that's 26 evasion. That takes us up to... Get an extra 15, 24%. Oh, is that worth it over the pure damage? Shit, I don't know. HP up and counter in exchange for defense. Sure. Counter's fucking huge. Vision one's worth it. No, because if we one tap people, like. We don't have to worry about dodging. Oh, there's our second battlefield. Cool. So right there will give us blood path. Yup. Oh, we already have another trait. For each missing 10% of max HP, the hero has a 0.5 chance to deal 1000% damage. No. 10% chance to simultaneously attack or 50% chance to steal research resource shard from an enemy while countering. Sure, we can take that one. We still don't have our shapeless mass. So this might be a challenging tile, but not when you one tap everything.
77 damage, dude. That's disgusting. Village would not be free, but we do have an Oblivion, so I will place that as soon as we loop. And we will place it hereabouts. See if we got anything good. Damage up. Does a lower damage right now? Oh, this is only one damage up for the sword? Okay. Uh, we'll swap the sword out for the better sword. We don't like the dirks because they're just crit bullshit. Pretty big loss in damage for very little damage to all. There, we got one better weapon out of that. Still just one tapping everything. This one around the village over here. I'm gonna say we could make the top one a little bit easier, but I don't think it really matters. Do we already have a brass candlestick? There's damage increased 5% with he's in the range. Oh. Do I have this equipped? If I don't, I'm an idiot. I legitimately do not remember if I have it equipped or not. We're already about to level up again. That's absolutely insane. Oh, we did get our th our shapeless mask, but I kind of want to go another another round. Forty-five, Jesus, that's a bonking stick right there. Dude, imagine somebody just running at you with two full-size fucking axes. That'd be absolutely terrifying. We didn't get fuck all other than that, but that is a pretty decent upgrade. Do we take the evasion now? I think we do because we are absolutely stomping these people. So we'll take the plus 10 evasion. We'll lose on the nine pure damage for right now. Another road lantern. Not a whole lot of spots I can put it. I guess we'll toss it there. Oh. Look at that, level up. So do we want smoke screen? I think I'm gonna take smoke screen. Um, I think I'm best with the rogue, but Necromancer is my favorite hero so far. But I do think I'm better with the rogue. I'm gonna do another round. Watch me die. Greed at its finest. Uh, we do get a free village though. So I'll take that. I'll put it here for the HP regen that we desperately need. And then I guess I'll just start chucking down some tiles since we're not too close to the boss. We do need to be careful with the rocks though because I don't know if Dwayne the Rock Johnson might just storm out at any time. Uh, I don't know when we're due for a goblin camp. We 
we got booties. Uh, 23% evasion and some crit damage. So that's just a straight upgrade, sure. Oh my god. We lose 8 evasion in exchange for 11 pure damage. What's our evasion at? 23. I don't think that's worth it. We're still hitting astronomically hard. That trait where you get XP for tiles place is absolutely busted, dude. Holy shit. It's just fucking wacky. We don't have an oblivion, so we'd be chancing a bandit camp. Not chancing, we're guaranteed a bandit camp the next village up with them, so. Um. Ugh. No, I'm gonna leave the mountains. Yeah, we're gonna retreat after this run. That was a little too close earlier. Like, we'd probably, we're probably fine to go another one, but I really just wanna unlock the river now. Dude, imagine if I died right here. No. Get me, get me the fuck out. Alright, we should have four of these so we can now build the river. Which sounds weird to say. I can't believe it. I got enough questions about this thing to fill a river. To fill an ocean, you mean? There are no more oceans in the world. The river is the biggest body of water there is. How are we even supposed to know about the ocean? Just look at it. All this water is coming from nowhere and it goes to nothing. Is it the same water circling around or is it something constantly creating new matter? I have no idea. Do you want to see if it's good for swimming? Of course. You sent that message after I had already finished. And I was wondering why your ass was clenched. And it took me a second to figure it out. Okay, so we have the river card now. Um, to upgrade the gymnasium now, we need a lot of orbs of creation. We need six more orbs of creation. So we should... I think we will go on Expedition 2 again with the rogue, but we're going to modify our deck. Um, we're going to take the... We don't really care about the Chrono Crystals. Um, Storm Temple is nice for the pure damage. Beacon's good. Oh, I don't know. What do we drop? What do we drop? I'm going to drop the Grove and the Blood Grove and we'll grab the Spiders. Because the Spiders should be more than enough to get us the four per tile that we need. Oh, I need two over up here. Okay. Um, we'll grab the runes. We'll go back with the rib. With El Ragu. I'm so happy we unlocked the river, dude. Alright, spitters. See if they can go to adjacent tiles or not. Adjacent tile once per day. So here would end up spawning here, I think. So that's not bad. So we will put our next one here. We already got a shapeless mass. Watch us get a bunch of them now that we don't actually need them. Uh, temporal beacon, sure.
the first loop is just like it doesn't matter what I drag on, it's probably better than what I have. Oh, I got a storm top already. Jeez, I'm not even paying attention. All right, get that pure damage going. We already have three. God damn it. Oh, our first river. Cool. Doubles the effect of adjacent landscape tiles. Doesn't really tell us. Okay, so it has to be on the exterior. All right. But can we have it flow inland? I wonder if we could double this pure damage like the whole way. I guess we'll see where it lets us do it. But now this should be one pure damage, right? Effectively. Yeah, it is. One. Cool. Build it in either direction. So if I build it this direction, does it close off this direction though? We'll see. Such a game changer, man. Like, literally changes the way the game's played. It is blocked off. Okay. So if we can, then we want to wrap down here so we don't our river doesn't end because we can't place any tiles here. So we'll want to try and wrap down. If it's possible to do that. And we probably should place our forest here mainly over our meadows, I think. While our thickets, if we ever get some. at all fourteen evasion, sure. If I should go down here and then here, or if I should try and make a left shit. Or right, excuse me. I'll try and make a right. We'll see how it goes. And if we could get that tile trade again, that'd be so big. So this should bring us up to pure damage too, I think. truth oh we can go straight down hell yeah hopefully it lets us pass along here forgot to check and see if the candelabra was equipped oh well we'll be okay This will give us 4% hero attack speed, right? We are... We have none. So this should give us 4%. Oh, it's so beautiful. We got more spider cock already. And there's a level up. 
Three or more enemies grants you an additional trophy. Hero receives 7% plus damage for every enemy starting after the second enemy. These are all probably decent, but I kind of want to try and roll for that XP. Ooh, plus one max HP, sure. For every trophy. Here's another mountain, been waiting for one. Oh, man, where do I want the ruins? Because the scorcher, scorchworms can shoot at you from other tiles, but I wonder if it's worth dealing with them like on their own or if I should put it near the archers they also shoot at me, but my archers can help me. I don't know what's better. I'll put them out here so they can only affect a little bit. Depending on. And did we get any goodies? Mm, evasion and attack speed, no. Better weapon, yes. Definitely. Bit booties. Oh, even this higher tier stuff is kind of ass today. Well, that poll, I shouldn't say today. Moment of truth? Fuck. Okay. So. I think we have to try and oblivion our way out of this. We're building a different mountain range. I should be able to turn down now, but I'm going to need one more oblivion here. Where should I build the mountain range then? Do I just start over? Might be the better option. That's going to let me turn down, and then I just need one more Oblivion in two years' time when I get it. And we will have unfucked our fuck up. It took forever to get our first village. Why do I always place it on corner tiles where I know it's going to be hard to do the road lantern vampire mansion trick? River is saved. Road lantern there. We lose one evasion and gain four damage to all that's probably worth it. Ooh, yes. Pure upgrade for our chest. Yes, please. The ruins are nice too because they do give us a random resource, so in theory we can get s more stuff we need, basically for free.
I almost want to put another storm tower here and do the river here so we just get double pure damage. I might do that. I'm also curious to see if this thicket will give us um, extra pure damage. I honestly do not remember if they do, like once they're set on fire. Fire Mansion. I think we're pretty set on temporal beacons. Oh, we're already kind of stocked up by our campfire. So I guess we can get, um, ghosts at the very least okay so yes the worm is gonna fight me there right okay yeah absolute dickhead so then we'll probably come down snake over here as long as we can i don't see any reason not to then we can place stuff here and it'll get doubled as they go Ooh, there's our there's our xp hell yes i think we're good on spider cocoons for now so let's see if we got any good weapons I guess I will take the damage to all in crit chance, but I don't think it's really that. It's not going to stay around long. Lose two evasion and gain three damage to all. Sure. And I think that's all we got. Oh, shit. I wanted to place my storm card here and I placed a forest there. Rip. Okay. I guess if we get an oblivion we can fix that, but that's shitty. Oh, is there anything we can place here that would be good? He's going on to work. So this is going to give us eight attack speed, right? So we should go up to 41% attack speed. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it doubled what was already there. Never mind. I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna grab the HP healed and see what happens. So. I'll have to keep an eye on my current health when he dies. Right now it's at 752. Okay, so it went up to 760. So that was eight, but why? I don't know what what's what all is affecting that. And that was nine, I think.
Okay, we still need enough. We got our Storm Temple, but we need Oblivion to light this without... Yeah, we just need Oblivion to light this one. Oh my god. What have I done? This looks so fucked up. Oh my god, four worms. Pray for me. They just all ran away. Shitheads. Treasury, that's not too bad. Counter on this Dirk is pretty good. I think I'll take that over evasion. Oh wow, 11 pure damage. But I lose my counter and damage to all. Oof. Damage to all is at 22. What the fuck am I getting damage to all from? Seven damage to all from the guitar. Four from the armor. Seven from the boots. Okay. All right. So tempting. That's plus 17 to plus 25. Ooh, doggy. I think that's probably going to be worth it, but is it going to be worth it over the counter or the damage to all? Our counter is only at 26%. I think I'll take it over the damage to all. I don't think any of this other stuff is worth it. 23% evasion is not too bad, but I don't want to lose my damage to all right now. Holding out for that oblivion. And another mountain, honestly. Oh, we... No, because we'll lose our storm temple if we take that. Um, I'm going to grab the Resurrection, sure. We've got another battlefield, it's not too bad. I don't really want to stack this area up anymore, actually, now that I'm looking at it. I think we'll just toss the battlefield somewhere random. The uh, worms are honestly not great. I guess we can find out about the thicket real quick and whether or not it gives us one pure damage. It does not. Okay, so it was pointless to put all these thickets here. Oh well, say love you. Is say love you actually live and learn? Or something along those lines? Such is life. So, close enough. Oh, I really need an oblivion soon. Well, we can toss on the road lantern and the beacon. And that will save us a little bit of room but we are dangerously close to losing that I guess we can toss down another rock kind of spooky though do we get anything good oh some high level stuff finally or higher level stuff 
plus five counter and we lose that on crit chance. Evasion up, damage to all down two. But we also, oh, that's big evasion up. Yeah, we'll take the evasion up for damage to all down. We would lose counter with that one. But we would get plus five damage to all. I think we want counter right now. That'd be... Oh, I could take the damage down and get an extra... 16% counter. Oh, that's rough. I have to see where that puts us because we might... Oh. It's so hard to decide. So this would be losing 12 evasion in exchange for 12 counter. We'd be at 60% counter. I think that's going to be worth it. I think we just commit to the counter. So I'll hold on to this spear for now. Because if our damage is too low, this will be plus 7 over the other spear we have. Okay, so we can toss down these meadows. Oh, oblivion. I just need an oblivion. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that the check this guy ran uh, took care of things. I did grab the resurrection, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, I'm hoping the check this guy ran fixed everything that needed to be fixed. Um, it's worked in the past, so I don't know why it wouldn't work now, but yeah. And it was, it's only games. Of course I get my Oblivion as I lose that mother. Oh no, I got another one. Fuck yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, we want to Oblivion this last one here. And then our pure damage is going to go up. What? 0 0.5. 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5, 7.5. If I am doing my math right. So our pure damage should go to 17 and a half. Or 19. Fuck yeah. Alright. Then what's our attack speed? Our attack speed is only at 16. We can go up to like 50 to 70 without too much issue. So we can keep tossing down attack speed. And I wouldn't mind getting the r fucking rid of that stupid goblin camp. How are we doing on resources? We've gotten two orbs of expansion and we need one more fragment. Oh, Jesus. If I press down wrong on my armrest, it just like unlatches itself. Very unfortunate. Ooh, another road lantern that could be good if we want to place down another village which we probably should uh, another village would be good like right in here i guess so we will do our lantern there um oh, i should have done it at the fucking worms those dickheads Oh no, I built the thingy right here. Oh well. Realistically, we're not going to be here that long, I don't think. So it doesn't matter.
Do we take the shield? Actually, I'm probably going to retreat here in like two seconds. So yeah, I guess we'll take the shield just to try and help us for this next fight. Nope. Damn it. What do we want to spend the last of our skulls? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. We need four more still. Jesus. Oh, those craft fragments aren't even for it. It's for the orb of crafts. Okay. Um, what do we need? To make sure I don't spend it. Let's go look at what other stuff we can do. Metal. I do not know what that is, but we have two of them. We have eight of these. So we have plenty of metal. Um, astral orb is filled with echoes. This must be from the temporal thing and then craft orbs. So we we'll just have to make sure we don't spend too much of those. Unlocks the Smith's Forge card, allows you to start expeditions with basic gear for any class. That's nice. Hasn't been a problem, but it wouldn't be bad. But we can't be spending our um, orbs of expansion. Which actually, now that I think about it, these probably all require orbs of expansion because you're upgrading, aka expanding. Building, will it also require orbs of expansion? Not all of it does. So we could build a Jumberlack. That does give us the ability to craft furniture. I think that's free otherwise. I mean, not free, but like, I don't think we're going to ruin anything by doing that. Um, we could also put down another watchtower. Actually, we could do both. I'm going to see where we can place the lumberjack. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So we need to build more forests around the lumberjack to upgrade it. So, we managed to stabilize a small section of the forest before. Now it's almost a real part of our world. You can go there and come back knowing you won't disappear from reality. You can even chop down some of the wood, but not all of it at once. Consider it our mutual triumph. Our forester is not too talkative, but he knows what he's doing. He'll be supplying us with wood while you're away, and he's also a decent craftsman if need be. I guess we can build another watchtower. I did indeed get the lumber place. Is the um, what's the emote I have? They're not gonna show up. Oh, I don't have Seven TV installed on this. Fuck. Ugh. I need to install Seven TV on my on Chrome because I'm on a new computer, effectively. No, I don't need to install 7TV, I need to install FFZ so I can get better TTV and 7TV with one extension. How about I don't turn on my sync, Chrome? How about you get off my back? Always need more pylons. It's not gonna work, god damn it. Does it work on my streaming PC at least? I made an emote and I wanna use it. This feels like an appropriate time. I've obviously ruined the moment by taking 10 years to find it, but. Where the fuck did it? Whatever. It's passed. So you can build, can you build more lumberjacks? You can, okay, I don't want to. Uh... And you can build more forests. Okay. I did. I built the watchtower. I built that. Okay. Um, is there anything else worth building? We could do more farms for more rations, but we're pretty good on that. Mud huts. Mud hut might be worth it, but I feel like the warehouse is more worth it once we have more orbs of expansion.
I am curious what we can craft now, though. Now that we can craft furniture. Uh, just wood and whatever this is. Metamorphosis, okay. Gonna give me chests, because that's kind of shitty. Oh, there we go. Plus one HP for every whole resource. Um, I'll do two more. Not anything good. Okay. Oh, we've gained nothing and lost nothing. Oh, yeah, these don't stack. It literally says that. So I have a free item slot then. Um, we could do the hams. I guess we can recycle the brass candlestick, right? There's no reason to keep multiple around. This seems pretty good, the sturdy stool. So yeah, we can dismantle, ooh. Actually, hold on. I didn't even think about dismantling the jewelry to get um, orbs. That's big if true. Because now we can upgrade the gymnasium and we can get our suburbs card. Fuck yes. Ah, a real temple of knowledge. The best temple there is. Getting new knowledge, cramming and exercising your memory. Well, your muscle memory at least. I feel very sorry for the geographic sciences though. Now you can learn all there is to it in just a few hours. That's very true. So now we have the suburbs and we can take off. I don't know what we want to take off. Could scrap the meadow, honestly. Like, I don't think it helps us that much. But the suburbs increases experience gained from killing enemies. And then if you stack suburbs by the river, oh baby. Oh yeah, you like the, uh, the science man? Let's send it with the necromancer on Expedition 3. I do have to go after this one. Um, I got some, some work to do, but... Yes, we can literally just... I don't. I guess I don't want to go on the entire outside, but... Because I will probably do the forest storm thing for pure damage. I don't even... Actually, no, I'm not going to because attack speed's way better. But if we... We will want to build at least in one so we can... I wonder if we can snake. Like, boom. Down over to up and then we can do on all sides you know like snake 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 uh i do believe you get a complimentary van down by the river if you get kicked out of the suburbs and we will toss down the vlog oh we got a book So we will want to build forests. Oh fuck, I should have taken off the ruins. Those pieces of shit. Um, we do want to build some forests and thickets to get attack speed. And if we're going to go out and down, that means we can... I guess we can just build here for now. I hope you tell that to your wife later. I hope you're like, hey, check out what I what I said on Twitch. Aren't I a funny guy?
Sounds like a smart woman. I plan on getting my attack speed from there, but you know. some some time bacon some temporal bacon I am an idiot my brain was like oh yes this is the campfire well that's that's gonna backfire on me We might be okay since it's early on. Or not. I also forgot to bring my ancestral grounds. Why did that guy have a magic shield? Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely going to bring in that when we get a chance. Because I'm an idiot. We're gonna go straight down, so that means we want that there. Ooh, we're already at 12 attack speed. Fuck yeah, dude. That was more along the lines of what I was expecting. Ooh, plus one max scaly man's early on. Or let's take the loop one first. I, I don't want to risk not getting that, but the free skeleton level each loop is invaluable. Oh my god, look at all the debuffs on my, my lady here. Jesus. 20% defense, 20% attack speed, and 20% evade. Ouch. Oh, please don't die. God damn it. I'm such an idiot. Okay, let's fix our deck. Uh, let's get rid of the fucking sh ruins, wherever they are. Ruins, goodbye. And then let's put on the ancestral crypts. Let's take the wheat fields. Wheat fields weren't too bad. We died early, so I think I probably have enough time before I have to go. Throw down the crypt. I doubt it would work, but it'd be a big brain play to um, double the effects of the crypt and give yourself two resurrections. blood path going on. Okay, so the river's gonna go here, here, here. So we can do thickets here. Our treasure over here. River. Okay, so we should have 3% attack speed. We got 5. So this should go to 6% attack speed, right? 
So it should go to eight. Nope, just a six. Where is the other attack speed coming from? I wonder. Don't matter no way, no how. I like that that uh, chest walked right on into an ambush. Each of those river tiles is going to be so huge for us when we get them. That's seriously the best part of the early game is just not having to think when you place your or when you grab your upgrades. Like, oh, that's clearly an upgrade. Yes, please. Oh yeah, bonus XP right there. Plus six, sweet. I was wondering if it was gonna track it or not. I do wish it would say when you were buffed from the river, like on the tile, like I wish this said like either plus four hero attack speed or like plus two and then plus two from the river. It'd be so much easier to like figure out where everything was coming from. There's the skeleton level again. So yeah, we'll snag that. Uh, yeah, is that just like better in almost every way? I can't believe I built all that over a village last time. Such a misplay. So this will give us 2% attack speed and then plus one more bonus CXP, I think. Yep. Cool, cool. I think it's probably worth it to try and only do thickets along the river, just so we're making the most of those doublings. Then one more road lantern down there and I will toss out the vampire mansion. Oh, big books. Trade attack speed for, no, we would trade Defense for evasion. I think we'll keep the defense.
I'm surprised I haven't gotten any um, spider cocoons yet. Once again, complaining you shall receive. Oh, that like little when you place that tile is so creepy. Not anything good, but sure. Got them thick suburbs. Ooh, I wonder if we get anything for clustering the suburbs. I should try. We make it to the bottom of the map over here or something. I'll try that. some big damage. Please archers kill anybody? What the fuck? Plus one resurrection, full heal for an allied skeleton, or plus five magic skill for every summon skeleton for the rest of the expedition. Yes, please. I guess we'll take the skeleton level. We'll sacrifice max skeletons. It's worth it at this point. Yeah, the archers are coming in clutch um, with that fourth watchtower. I would like to upgrade them, but I didn't want to spend all those orbs of expansion. Uh, I am in a cluster of the suburbs now that we have built them down quite a bit. probably do three so that means I need to not do the thicket here because we're gonna turn the river so we can either go river 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 down or we can do river river and then up but then we don't really have the ability to double maybe I'll just hold off on placing that thicket until I know what I'm doing with the river skeleton level though sure I'll build another treasury even though I've made zero attempt to finish my first one so terrifying Okay, well, we did get some suburbs, though, which is good. So we will... Did want to do... Double battlefield somewhere. I 
Want to do anything else? I don't think we can really afford to right now. I'm getting kind of scared. I guess we do have the free resurrect, so it's not the end of the world, but it's still be nice not to die. I'm curious to see if anything happens to that farmland now that the once it turns into this turns into the count's land. A tier nine ring that's like not any better than my other ones. That's lovely. The XP difference with the suburbs around though is definitely noticeable. We're getting quite a few level ups. We'll grab a max skeleton. Don't know. I just don't know if it's worth going up or if I should try and snake over here. I definitely don't want to block off this upgrade path though because I'll still need to build over this way with the uh, suburbs since they have to be adjacent. River requires a lot more planning than, some of the, than a lot of the other tiles. Oh my god, we're getting absolutely destroyed. What the fuck? So squishy. Well, there's at least skeleton level up. I guess our skeleton level was a little bit low. I'm going to take the big magic defense. We're just getting our shit kicked in out here. Our attack speed is almost good enough, but we're only maintaining two, and we need to be able to maintain like four or five, ideally. That is finally an upgrade for that ring. That went much better than, than previous times through. I am quite happy with that. should probably toss down this thicket because I don't want to end up losing it. Yeah, I'll take a slight hit to magic shield for extra skeleton level. And I think we're good for now. Bring a regen, I don't think. I think I'm going to come over one more and then try and go up and see if I can build along the road. I don't think I can, but I really didn't commit it to memory from the last game, last expedition, whatever it's called. That was a terrifying sound effect.
bunch of useless rings. this one even applies because I'm not actually killing the enemies my skeletons are I guess we'll take the 10% chance oh hey it propped Forest spawns really aren't too bad because they don't um, stack up too quickly like a lot of the other ones do. Oh, here's our 9x9 nine nine of the suburbs, and what do we get? Increases the experience gained from killing enemies by two, but that only happens to that one? Is that even worth it? I guess it's not not worth it. It just seems like a huge commitment just to get plus one. You're about to have counts lands, I think. So we'll go over and then up, and then if we can't keep going up, we can always turn. So ridiculous. Is it these blood clots? I'm assuming. Didn't really get anything worthwhile either. Mm, yeah, they're doing 68 damage each when they hit me. I'm assuming these don't redouble, which is kind of frustrating, but that's on me. Any good rings? Ooh, max skeleton, and then we would get skeleton level. Yes, I'll take that over the evasion. That is worse in every way than what I have. Cool. Okay, so it can, they can kind of be clustered like that. That's better than I had expected. Okay. Uh, let's grab us some free max health. I really thought we were due for Count's Lands already. I guess not. These dudes are thick as fuck. Jesus. Absolutely not you. Sixteen percent evasion is probably worth taking. Oop. Because I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to summon the boss before I have to leave. 
I'll go one more loop because I would I really do want to see what happens with this wheat field if anything changes. Having counts lands. Give me we don't die on this fucking pile again. Uh, no, nothing changed for the wheat field. Um, I do want to see if these are doubling up. I doubt they are. If it is, we would go to 88% attack speed. Oh shit, they are doubling up. We just, I guess we went to 90. Because it's probably applying to adjacent. Okay, then never mind. This wasn't a bad call at all. I don't think I really have anything else worth placing. I would like to place a mountain next to the river just to see if it transforms at all. So is it just having him in a row like that? I'm so curious. Ooh, that's going to be, what, plus 7.66 skeleton level versus plus 6.6. So it's plus one. And then we get 10 defense in exchange for 16% evasion. That's probably worth. I'm just not too satisfied with these rings, if I'm being honest. They're kind of shitty. Like 0.27 skeleton level on an orange level 10 ring. Like that's just dog shit. Some good fucking rings. Alright, we will swap out this one because it's almost a straight upgrade. And that's not great. Mm, yeah, we can chuck down another. Oh, we can put wheat fields on the other sides of these. What does that get us? Overgrown field. No one sowed it and no one will harvest its crops, yet it's still here somehow. Spawns a scarecrow every four days. During combat, adds fields of blades to empty combat spaces. Interesting. I really like all of these unique tile interactions. see what this trade is. All good trades. That is unfortunately going to have to do it for me because I have to work in eight minutes. So. Oh god, I just ran my fingernails across the mesh of my headphones. Quite unpleasant. I'll tell you what. So let us see if any of our compatriots are live on Twitch. That television. Uh, you know what? Let's go check out Reggie. Um, he is a Metroid Prime speedrunner, and he runs randomizers. Um, 
I first saw him race, or not race, but do a co-op run at GDQ. It was super interesting, and I usually throw his streams on during the day, but he does like two-part streams. Like he'll stream in the day and then take a nap, I think. So one of my people, I, I appreciate him. He's entertaining, and so are his runs. So we will go, uh, go check him out, and then I will be back on Thursday, and we will probably play some more loop here. I would like to get Expedition 3 done on Thursday. That's, I think, my goal. Um, so yeah, let's go hang out with Reggie for a little bit, and I will see you guys later in the week. Oh god, stream deck, please don't freeze.